Hello guys, my name is Tony and welcome back to Roldas Details. Uh, today's video, I know guys, it's been a long time since I posted the last video. and But today's video, um, I got a guy who's coming to my house and pretty much he wants to learn how to do paint correction. So he's a detailer that I met in Walmart. <laughs> he was buying, he was buying uh, some um, super clean, so, and I was in the same area, so uh, he was kind of, we was talking to each other, you know, and what happened is, um, you know, I recommend him some, uh, you know, uh, the greaser, which is the spray nine. And that is when the coronavirus was starting, you know, so, all right. So, uh, we're going to wait on him and I will show you guys some of the process of, you know, uh, teaching him how to do pain correction, which I'm not an expert, but whatever I know. Uh, or the knowledge that I have, I'm gonna try to uh, teach him, you know, whatever I got. So stay tuned and let's keep going. All right, guys, so with us, Jamon, uh, so pretty much um, we're gonna learn together how to do pain correction. Like I said, I don't have a lot of knowledge, but whatever knowledge I have, I'm gonna try to help him out, you know, and Jamon. Hey, I'm Jamon and I'm with Monster Clean Mobile Auto Detailing and I'm here to learn from Mr. Mr. Rowder here. All right, guys. So we're going to start and pretty much what we're going to get right now. Uh, let me figure out this thing. Okay, we have, uh, we're going to be using um, three different type of polish uh, polishers, which is the uh, Bigfoot 15 millimeters. I have the uh, Rupes uh, Mini. And I have my trusty porter cable, which is, this is the one we normally start, you know. And I have different pads over here, and you know, I got some Inserna uh, HD speed, and this one here, uh, thanks to uh, Hack Pro Detailing. So he sent me this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. And um, that's what we're gonna be doing, guys. So we're gonna start, you know, prepping this vehicle, which is gonna be my mobile detail setup and we're gonna practice on it and then we're gonna move on to that one there and maybe that one there so <laughs> uh we're gonna start with this one and all right guys let's let's do it Uh, what I do is I normally use uh different mats okay uh that way whenever I use I don't like to use the two to wash backing method. Uh -huh. I just use one okay. and uh, I use different mats so that way I pass them and that's it. Like I put them put them in a, put them away. Uh -huh. Or if I want to reuse them, I just use the pressure washer to clean them out and then really? dunk it in the in the clean soap yes, and do it again, you know. That's yeah. that's how I like to do it. So, okay. yep. So what is exactly what do you want? Like you you already are detailing, right? Yes, sir. But you want to learn um, how to do paint correction and what else? Um, I want to learn paint correction for the rest of this year. And then next year, if I can afford like a setup, a shop or anything, I want to offer ceramic coatings. Um, but I, I just know I need a lot of experience. Those, like those guys in Greenville, like they're pretty much killing me. So I want to be able to Get, get into the game of ceramic coatings. Okay. And teach people how to protect their vehicles. Yeah. And also offer more than just ceramic coatings for the people that can't afford them. Okay. So, okay. 
Yeah, that's good, some man. of the yearly pink uh, protection options. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good, man. So we already uh, washed decon and now we're going to do three sections over here in order to find out, you know, the difference between compound, polish, or one step, two steps, three steps, whatever you guys want to call it. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And right now I'm going to explain him. You guys already know how to do this. The majority of you guys. Uh, this is not a video to teach you guys how to do things. This is just to bring something to you guys too. Because there's many other detailers out there that you, they will teach you how to do it. And I'm not the best teacher. So I'm just trying to do my best in order to help him out. So let's continue with this. So as you guys can see, if, you, if we follow the light pretty much, you guys can see there is a ton of imperfections like slow marks and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna try to uh pretty much correct all that so yep yeah like for pain enhancement that's perfectly fine you know uh -huh. gotta make sure like right now just spread it out don't okay. don't even worry don't don't okay. overthink it just spread your product okay. around and then since you got us you already spread it out you're gonna speed up you know so what? like five five and a half yeah now what? you don't have to i don't know how much pressure you are putting right there uh, normally, if you let, you can kill it, that way I can explain you. Okay. Put the weight of the polisher, mm -hmm. and then just put a little bit more extra, you know, and that's it. You don't have to press okay. real hard. You, what you gotta do more is control the, make sure your pad is flat. Okay. That's what you gotta be more focused. Not on how much weight you put in, you know, mm -hmm. on top of the polisher, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, in this area over here, we did like a compound. And if you come down, it's just like a paint enhancement. And you guys can see the imperfections on this bottom portion. So, uh, right here, it's gonna give you a little bit of marring, but it looks good, you know, with the combination of Ovic and the uh, microfiber uh, uh, cutting pad, um, it did a great job. And pretty much, um, if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and do some light polish on top of that, and it's gonna give you a nice, nice shine, so. Yeah, that's uh, we are kind of playing around right now, you know, with products, polishers, and all that stuff. That way, he he get familiar, you know, with all this stuff. So that's pretty much what we're doing. So we're gonna continue. Right there, you know? Uh -huh. 
awesome. guys so we pretty much uh finish for today we're gonna continue uh doing this so uh as you guys can see uh we did the entire hood on my uh ford transit and pretty much how you like it buddy i like it there was a lot of good practice today all right so we, let's let, let me show you guys uh what we did um we're gonna show you guys how it looks. So, it, let's see, let's follow the light. So, we correct a ton on this. This is one spot. You guys remember, we was kind of practicing on this. So, there are some areas where we don't, like over here on this area, we did like two step paint correction and over here it was just one step. All right guys, so that's gonna be it on this video. And if you guys like this type of videos, please give us a big thumbs up and share with others who might enjoy this type of videos. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell that, that bell. That way you guys will get notifications each time we drop a video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Say bye buddy. You win. <laughs>